Hey guys, Racer here. Um, you know, I'm in St. Louis right now in a hotel room. I've been uh, wanting to do this ever since Firebird did it. Uh, Bruce is talking about loves being in a hotel room. Uh, drove over here today from uh, you know from my house in Louisville. Got some business tomorrow and uh, left myself some time to stop at uh, a couple of my favorite places over on uh, the uh, east side of the Mississippi River in East St. Louis. And lo and behold, found everywhere, of course. Schlitz Bull Ice. So we're going to crack this and get started after a long day on the road. Oh, I like that. Did you hear that? Beautiful crack. Uh, nice hiss. Uh, let's see how this stuff is. If it's as good as everybody says it is. I, I can't remember. It's been a while. The splinter is just like a snow plow, though. Look at the grass packed up in there. If those are, in fact, salty, he just needed it. He just saw it up to Oh, man. That hits the spot after a. Uh, Long day. Uh, East St. Louis really is a, a rat hole. Uh, I really hate driving around there, even on a cold Sunday afternoon. But uh, hey, found this and I've been looking for it, so let's go for it here. Uh, that's not bad. Um, I got it nice and cold. Had it icing down a little bit before I uh, started the video. Uh, I don't know. 8.2 percent alcohol by volume. This compares to, of course, Saint Ives, which is also 8.2. Uh, I don't know. I think I might have to change my uh, my top three uh, high gravity malts. This is really good. Yeah, if you're in the background I'm watching a NASCAR race right now. Uh, now, ooh, ooh, yeah, got a burp even too. Do some burps. Uh, this stuff is pretty good. Boy, Trux has done a nice job after losing that uh, axle shaft of getting back on the lead lap, and now back up into the top. It's kind of funny. I stopped at a gas station, not really that far from the interstate, and uh, I went in looking for. Uh, Looking for this, they didn't have this. They had a bunch of other 40s, but uh, nothing, you know, wasn't run of the mill. And uh, on my way out, ran to a guy that uh, asked for change. And before I gave him anything, I asked him if he knew, hey, is there a store that has bull ice? And he pointed kind of down the street. So uh, I gave him another buck, and uh, that way I guess he had enough to buy something. One of the good things is, the thing I got here, I really can't, don't want to talk too much about it right now. I'll, I'll talk about it later. But uh, what I'm doing in town here, I don't have to be there until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And right now it's uh, 5.53 local time. So I think I can have this bowl of ice and probably won't have a problem tomorrow. Probably just going to order up a little room service because I really don't feel like going around downtown St. Louis at night by myself. It, uh, I took a little walk when I first got here to check out where I got to go tomorrow, and uh, this really is a crummy, uh, crummy place. Ready to talk to your doctor? Find out how. Viagra.com. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Oh man, this is going down. This is going down really good right now. Uh, a lot of guys were talking, they like this stuff. Uh, I can understand why. I might have to stop on the way home and uh, pick up a half dozen or something of these just to have in the inventory. You experience a sudden decrease in vision or hearing. 20 million men have had the Viagra conversation. Ask your doctor. Viagra is right for you. Oh, man. What are we doing here? Uh, pretty uneventful trip. You know, it's about 290 miles from my house to here. That's pretty uneventful. Uh, it was windy as shit today, though. And, uh, you know, if you saw the, the pictures of my cars and the, uh, when we did a thread on cars, I was driving my Subaru, and, uh, for some reason, when it's getting hit with a 30 mile an hour wind and you're doing 75, it, uh, <coughs> You actually know what that you're going into something. Get the inside track from Racing and Race Analysis. 
I was kind of disappointed. I stopped at that place in Mount Vernon, Illinois, where I found Silver Thunder one time. You know, great selection of 40s, but, you know, all run-of-the-mill stuff that, uh, I mean, everybody has. Uh, you know, they got the standard Colt, OE, uh, Mickey's. Not one of the designs I need for my collection with the, the being a different place. Oh, wow. This stuff is actually, and we're, oh, we're getting down there right now. Just checking the time here. I don't want to run out of time. I don't have my kitchen timer here. You know, we mentioned Jeff Burton a while ago, what a good day he's having. And, and those guys got to be happy with Hey, the guys that uh, that are watching that commented on my uh, my Pitbull review video, that, that's kind of a different project that I'm working on right now. Uh, that's why I didn't post it up on 40 Ounce Malt Liquor TV. Uh, I don't even know if Bruce did or not. I know he put it, he embedded it into the uh, to the thread. Uh, I plan on doing about a dozen of those all together right now. Anyhow, uh, so that's kind of a, a different project. I'm trying something a little different on that. Uh, so far the reviews I got, I guess people like them. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying for time or anything like that. Uh, the pit bull I did, that was pretty good. Uh, I don't know, I got some camos in 24-ounce cans. I know the only thing worse than camo out of a bottle is camo out of a can. Uh, I expect those reviews to be a lot more rugged. I'll go over and check my NASCAR race right now. Hmm, okay. I don't think there's a lot of NASCAR fans among the 40 ounce crew. I think uh, 91 Firebird's a NASCAR fan, but I think after him, I think it's about none. And that's okay. I understand that. As you guys probably know, if you, you know, guys that know me know I'd, I'd rather actually work on the car than actually take it out and race it. I think that's my excuse for having the driver go out and drive is, uh, so I can work on the car. I mean, I, she's very conservative in the past. I've actually encouraged her to be a little more reckless because if she wrecks the car, that gives me more to do to fix it. Wow, we're getting down near the end here. I'm also getting down near the end on time, so I better get going here. <laughs> I'm going to caution on the NASCAR race right now. This is a really solid uh, malt right here, this bowl of ice. I kind of like it. I was trying to find this in a can. No luck on that either. But when he gets in the loose stuff, it's out of, it's out of his hands then. <sighs> hmm. Down to about the last uh, half inch right now. Uh, I need to rip off a big burp. See, Bruce talks about that. Nobody else burps. I wish I could sometimes. He got in a little hot, got loose, getting in. All that dust and dirt. Yes, that's what I get for uh, the upbringing I had. Was if you burped in my house, you know, my mom, rest her soul, her backhand would have. Uh, <laughs> they tell you, her backhand was something you can remember. At least I do. All right, we're done with this. Wow. I guess we better give it a racer's rating. I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10 swills. This stuff is really good. I think it's my new number, at least in my top three. I'm just having to decide what's going to get knocked out. Hurricane High Gravity is, of course, number one. I'll let you guys know. So, uh, hey, until later, you guys take care.